Miami just showed you you don't need $30 billion players to do it. Uh, that's true. <laughs> you can do it. So, the guys, is this a thing? Are people about to now just scour the undrafted, really, like follow the Miami plan? Or is this like, a, you know, an, a Miami-specific aberration that people won't be able to duplicate? It feels more like the latter than the former. I do think with the new CBA rules kicking in over, you know, next season, the season after with some of the tax apron stuff, like it's going to be more important for you to nail the draft, nail, find those value adds in the second round, find the undrafted guys. Like it's going to be more important to get talent that way. But like the quote unquote Miami model is not really replicable unless you already have that foundation. I think we've talked about this before. Like, Miami's been funneling people to Sioux Falls for years and years and years and years. And all those guys haven't hit, but you remember the ones that do. And so, like, I don't think teams can just quickly pivot to, okay, we're just going to find an undrafted dude and see if we can nail that. Like, that takes years of equity to kind of build up that system, funnel guys, like, have that. Like, Miami's been funneling coaches from Sioux Falls to their bench, and then they go elsewhere. Like, it's a whole system in Miami and if you want to tap into like the heat culture bit of the conversation like that's where it really filters in with just how connected that organization and their G League affiliate is that portion isn't that that can't that's not going to be a quick fix I do think overall it's going to be more important for you to find those value adds elsewhere though it's it's hard like you can say like everybody says they got want to change the culture but you don't what Miami does is just so unique in the league. And Kenny Smith always says, he said it last night and it was very, it was very accurate. He said, coaches don't give you confidence, but they can take your confidence away. And that's true. And it, and one of the underrated things about Spolster to me is how he empowers, whether it's Gabe Vincent or Caleb Martin, he empowers those guys to play loose to be themselves to let their talent come out and you just don't see that on other teams with forget undrafted guys just with guys in general who aren't superstars you know what i mean like you just don't see guys you don't see teams just say yeah just shoot the ball man like you know and and play do what you do and they they do that better than anybody forget all the stuff about conditioning they make every player on that team feel like they're the best player on that team. You know, <laughs> that's really hard to do in this league. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's, it's very much structural. And I think it's very much a level of intention. It's a level of attention to detail. Like everyone target, they, everyone has skill sets they need. Every team needs level of shooting, defensive versatility, playmaking, et cetera, et cetera. Miami very much, and I don't want to give off like it's exclusive to them because it's basketball at the end of the day, but like they very much target people. Can you, how quickly can you pick up concepts? How much do you want to work? You know, it does tie into the conditioning as well. But because of that, and again, because of the connectivity they have with like their G League affiliate and stuff too, there is a level of confidence and freedom that can be given because we already know, all right, if you are here, then I know I don't work, I don't have to worry about your mindset. And if you have made it up here, I know you already have our concepts. So if someone gets hurt, or if you're just playing well and we want to give you a shot, I don't have to worry about the learning curve with you. Just do what you do. We already know who you are skill set wise, but we also know who you are in terms of the type of person that you are and what you can handle. So if you're out there, I already have full confidence. Okay, we know you know you I don't have to worry about what you're gonna do. We have to worry about if it's gonna work or not. But conceptually, I already know what type of player this is. I know what situations work for you. I know what kind of players you can play with because you've already seen similar things. We already know what your background is. Just get out there. And again, that's where Miami has built this through multiple years and why and why that's why i don't think like their model per se isn't easily replicable elsewhere like that's a lot of you got to build that equity to be able to funnel guys in like that how much of what we just witnessed from caleb martin is attributable to what the heat like poured into him right i mean some of that is obviously heat culture, but, but I mean, he still got to make those shots, right? Like he's like, did, is he just a miss? Like did people just miss him or is this what we're seeing is the benefit of you put some talent into that kind of mindset and culture like this, this is like one of those kind of flowers, roses that grow from concrete as Pop would say. Um, It's a little bit of both for me. Cause like, 
if you have the college tape, like the athleticism pops for Caleb Martin. And even in the short stint that he had in Charlotte, like you see what he can do on the open floor, could defend. Like the shot was going to be a question mark. Like even while he's been in Miami, like he shot well, he's gotten more comfortable with the shot. He's made like slight tweaks to his form. And so, like, there has been just a level of individual growth for him. It's not exactly pretty, huh? It's like, not, it feels like he's shooting it and he's releasing on his way down. Like, yeah. it's got, like, a weird hitch to it. Like, it's why it's so jarred when, like, he makes every one of them because it doesn't <laughs> feel like it's going in. Yeah, like, I like you're not going to see that on, like, instructional videos. But, <laughs> like, even with that, like, again, like, he's made slight tweaks to the jumper. The handle has gotten better. Like, ultimately, he's gotten more room to grow and improve and like he really popped it was funny i was going through like my old tweets last night like he popped very early on the two-way contract that miami gave him and it's like well if this is what he can do then yeah you probably want to go ahead and lock that guy in if he's this kind of wing that can slide between the two and the four really has the athleticism so he gives you a mold of player to build into we've seen him knock down shots defense didn't treat him like a shooter and like even now it's still very much been oh well he's not, surely he's not going to keep doing this and he just keeps doing it But it does come to, again, the overall comfort level that Miami has. Like, we know what type of worker you are. We know how quickly you can pick up concepts. We know your willingness to take on these different kind of matchups. Defense always gets you in the door. Like, outside of Duncan Robinson, like, it's been very clear. that I feel like the through line for these undrafted or second-round picks or whatever has been, I know you can defend. I know you will hold your own. I know you will make things work. If we toggle between switching and this man press zone, I know you can hold your own there. And Caleb Martin was a very important part at the top of Miami's zone last year, has continued to be an important part of their zone. So, like, once you have that end, then you also have the room to, like, grow and expand offensively. And I think this postseason run has been the culmination of the open floor stuff that he could already do, the tweaks to the jumper, the improvement on the handle. And now when you have Jimmy playing like this and commanding this kind of attention, you have Bam, who's had his stretches offensively, where he's commanding a bunch of extra attention. And now here's Caleb Martin, who has normally just been treated as if he hits shots, tip our caps. And now he's just taking game plans and throwing them over the top rope with the way that he's playing. But yeah. again, it all just comes from that that steady build and that foundation that Miami already has. 